Good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel uh, under Norman Lecoq in Rooster's Art. Today is December 27th. Good morning. I'd like to wish everybody a blessed and prosperous new year coming in. Glad to get this 2020 out of here. Hope this corona can do the same. Take its way and just end everything. I'm trying to finish up with this uh, drawing I have here. And these are some of the pencils, pastels, pencil I will be using right here. And the grays and blues. Pencils. I'm working on uh, this small bird right here, right now. And how I'm doing it, I have the bird in the background and I'm gonna have water spilling out right here. And like it's gonna be taking a, a dip of a spill of the water in its mouth, in its beak, you know. What you do with these drawings, what I normally do, I sharpen all my pencils, everything first, and I go with the larger areas and just lay it in. With everything with, with the chalk, first of all. And by the way, this is sandpaper I'm using. Uh, it's pretty delicate. <laughs> to a certain extent and it will scratch your hands up if you're not careful with it so try to work on the pressure that you have with these uh, pastel chalks and with the paper you're using just take your time Again, I know you might get tired of me saying it, follow these little roadmaps, but if you don't have roadmaps, how you know where you're going? What I'm doing just right now is just laying some, some areas of interest out and then blend it and then see what we get from there. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and hopefully Santa brought everything that they wanted. This is another fun painting I like. Uh, I'm a stickler for detail. I, I, I do love detail work. Uh, that's not for everyone. I also like abstract, but I really enjoy drawing what I see, or close to what I can get to anyway. Just blend it in. And what I'm using too, some of the background itself, along with this uh, bird, this little sparrow. Some of the background is going to fade into its feathers. So that's going to enhance the actual work like a underlayment on it. Real light with the fingers. I pre-sharpened all my pencils first before I started to draw. I'm gonna change this up a little bit. See, when you're drawing for yourself, you can change things to what you want, want them to be. Again, it's, it's your drawing or your painting. So, do what makes you happy.
I thank everyone who participated in the, uh, the drawing. Uh, Miss Sigu, she won first prize, and I think two other people from Jerry Lane, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, they won the other two gifts. I appreciate it. Thank you all. It's a pretty decent turnout for a short time period. And this paper has a lot of like small particles of sand actually on it. And that's how this chalk is able to adhere to the surface. And it, it helps with the blending tremendously. Once you try it, you may love it. But like with anything, you have to try to see whether or not you like it. And then you make your own assessment whether you can utilize it in your work or not. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw the bird first, as you see. And after I finish the bird, I'm gonna have the water coming out right here. Going out here, and then to his shoulder which is going to have some splashes coming up. Splashes coming up off his shoulder with a bird getting a little, a little sip of water. It should be interesting. See how it's going to work out and play. I'm not pressing hard at all with these pencils right now. The reason I'm using pencils because they're so small, can get into small areas that I normally can't get my big thumb or fingers into. Just pat too when you're trying to get certain effects. It's all up to you. Stay tuned. At the end of the video, I have some important messages for uh, some subscribers for some upcoming uh, things you can possibly win. Uh, some free paint sets and some free training online. So stay tuned. It's in very, very light. Nothing elaborate. No scrubbing it real hard. None of that. Just, just real light. As you can see I'm just holding it. Just passing it over the surface. Very, very lightly. And thanks for the new subscribers this month. Uh, numbers are picking up. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Whenever you're doing realism work, um, it's good you have subject matters. What I'm meaning is something to look off of to look at the perspective that you try to get with what you're trying to achieve and it makes your work a whole lot easier to do than assuming what something may look like and, and you don't have the right information on it.
what I'm doing is just putting some shadows in right now. Using my pinky finger to just blend it in. I'm going in a circular motion. Counterclockwise and clockwise. Try to blend it in. See how it's starting to take a little shape right now? Just do it lightly, don't go rough with it. I'll continue to iterate on that. I'm pulling down right now. And going in a circular motion. It's not hardly any pressure on here right now. I think by using pastels too, it can help incorporate and enhance the other mediums you may work with. And the reason I say that, it helped me uh, learn to blend a little better compared to the way I was blending. Not to say it was bad, but all your work can be enhanced. This is gray right now I'm, I'm using. circular motions Anyone have any questions, feel free to call me, text me. You can find me uh, on YouTube, this channel, and drop me a line if you're interested in anything. Like I said, if I don't know the question, we'll work together and try to find out the answer. Hopefully next year, We'll bring a whole lot more to our plates and this coronavirus can be out and I do believe it will just time and follow all the guidelines your local government and everything to try to advise you to do the correct things And this is not a public service announcement. <laughs> These are fun to do. To see and watch you get the details that you're trying to achieve. Helps a lot. Of 
Now, how the water's gonna be coming, that's why I'm drawing the bird first. It's gonna be translucent, so you can see the water in front, but you're still gonna be able to see the shadow of the bird behind the water, the flowing water. Just blending this up, up and around. Try to make it look like feathers. See how the background is actually helping somewhat with the shading, you know, that I'm applying. Just small steps at a time. You don't want to overpower it just like with your oil paints or any other paints unless that's what you're trying to do. Take your time. Enjoy your work. You get a whole lot more satisfaction out of it, believe you me. right up in here just to enhance some reflections of that brown kind of have a, a tint to it see I'm working these, these colors and tones up I don't want it too drastic right now I'm trying to bring it in and try to keep some of the other background color to come through. See, I'm following the contour of the feathers, even with some subtleness, what we have right here. Get new reference points.
be very careful with these sticks. You don't want to actually put it in the face of your, uh, your drawing. Remember, these are pastels, very, very delicate. Once they spray and get behind glass, it's a different story. But uh, from there on, you have to be very careful with them. It don't take much to mess these, these pictures up. They're very delicate and beautiful, like I said, almost like porcelain in a sense. See how it's coming to life now? A whole lot more work, but that's what it takes. Be consistent in your work. And what I mean by consistent, and you can continue to learn from your mistakes. I know I have over the years from uh, the drawings and everything else. The more you do, actually, you, you're gonna do one of two things. You're gonna get better and better. Just continue doing what you love doing, and it will definitely start showing in your work. Especially right now with this coronavirus, uh, a lot more people are drawing, doing things they normally didn't think about doing. Enjoy your work, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. Be at peace with yourself and your work. You do have some little light residue from the chalk. You know, you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, plenty of times you're gonna be going over it anyway. See how you don't have to just put too much pressure on this paper. Uh, some of the other papers, you may have to apply more pressure on it. And that's because it has no tooth. The tooth is mainly used to hold a, a hair the vehicle you're putting on it, I'm talking about the paint or the oils or chalk, whatever it may be. That helps with everything else too.
these pencils, uh, pastel pencils, don't stay sharpened very long with this rough paper. So you have to go back and uh, resharpen them for what you need. Well, my dry is coming, coming around pretty close right now. I wonder if they're going to have Mardi Gras this year in New Orleans with all this COVID. It's nothing like New Orleans Mardi Gras. La Bon Ton Roulette. Let the good times roll. See, I'm just patting that right now. I'll keep watching my channel and I'll give you more information on upcoming events we will be having and subscribe and I'll continue working on this this drawing and next time hopefully we'll be much closer to finish I appreciate you I thank you and have a blessed day And a Happy New Year.